Alright, so what are your scores? Let's go around the room. 79. 119. Yeah. Turns out cooperating works. 150 yes. what? 152. Uh, 93. 93. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. Let's think about these scores for a minute. What's 20 points? How do you get 20 points? Cooperate. If you cooperate every single time and your partner betrays you every single time, you're going to get 20. That's the lowest possible score. Um, so that's. Uh, right, so you cooperate and your partner betrays you every single time, and you never learn, and all the way until the last one, you're still cooperating. How about 200? The other side, right, so if you're the one that has the sucker for a partner who's cooperating every time, and you're taking advantage every single time, you're going to get the 10 every time. How about 100? This might not be so obvious, but how do you get, how's it, what, what's, 100 has a special significance here. If you guys so split it, like, if you, you, if you split it, if you cooperate and trade, like, an even amount of times. Maybe, so that might be a way of getting it. Uh, but another way is if you and your partner each flip a coin each time. So if you each flip a coin, uh, you probably probably won't get exactly 100, but that's what you'll get on average. So um, that's the outcome if you choose randomly and your partner chooses randomly also. Uh, how about 60? What's special about that? Nope. That's you and your partner both betraying every single time. Right, so getting threes every single time. And most importantly, what, what is 120 points? So if both you and your partner cooperate every time, both you and your partner will get 120. So 120, notice, is something that's achievable by both you and your partner. So this 200 is something that you can't both get. That's if you're taking advantage of your partner. You're going to get the 200, your partner's going to get 20. But 120 is something that both of you can get. And in this class, there was one person who got that and one person who did well above that. Um, but for most of you, you could have done better if somehow you had found a way of making cooperation accessible and your partner would have gone along with it. Your partner, in most cases, would have done better also. So both you and your partner, in all cases but one, would have done better if you had found a way to stabilize cooperation. So for Hobbes, the way to stabilize cooperation from the state of nature is to appoint a sovereign. And what's the sovereign going to do? Why does the sovereign, how is the sovereign able to stabilize cooperation? How is the sovereign able to remove a reasonable doubt about whether the other party is going to continue to cooperate? By threatening a severe punishment, a punishment that's more severe than what you hope to gain from betrayal. A punishment that's more severe than what your partner hopes to gain by betrayal. And that threat of a punishment makes accessible cooperation that does better for each of you. 
And as I said when we talked about this before, the beauty part is the punishment doesn't actually have to be imposed on anybody because if everybody is going to act rationally, then they will cooperate. They won't betray their um, commitments and they'll wind up doing better than they would have done in the absence of that threat. Okay, so that's Hobbes' state of nature. Here in this classroom, what could, have you, what could you have done in order to make accessible for both you and your partner the score of 101? No, you've not threatened to beat your partner up outside the classroom. There's something else in the classroom that you could have done. What about me? I could have been the sovereign and threatened you with what? With what? With an F. With an F. So, if you had come to me and said, I think that I will do better and my partner will do better in this game if you, that is the teacher, tells promises to fail you if you betray. And your partner would agree to that also, knowing that She's not going to betray. And you're not going to betray. And so I wouldn't actually have to fail anybody to make that agreement stable because it wouldn't be in your self interest to betray. Uh, here in this classroom, I have enough power uh, to make it worth your while to cooperate. And so I wouldn't have had to punish anybody. And you would exception, all have done at least as well as you did. Okay, so end of story. Uh, this is a kind of situation where that paradox of each individual pursuing his or her own self-interest really does not lead to an outcome that's beneficial for each individual. Okay, uh, I'll stop here. Uh, on Wednesday, we'll start making a transition away from Hobbes. We won't get to talking about the Kant. Probably we'll start on Pleasure being criminal for you? No, no, no. No, no, no.